Kia ora koutou. Hi everyone, it's Rerani. Um, so I wanted to get on here and talk to you uh, for as long as Facebook will allow me to talk to you about this subject. Um, I just posted something on my uh, Facebook page um, a little while ago and I wanted to talk further about it. Um, it is a screenshot from a website called deagle.com. Um, Deagle is an aggregator of statistics. Uh, they are in the military and civil aviation space. And uh, they post up the statistics like the gross domestic product, the uh, population statistics of different countries around the world. And um, every country is on there. And so um, you'll find the military assets, you'll find the density and the populations of different countries. Um, I was alerted to this website last night thanks to Veritas Radio and uh, I love Veritas Radio, have been a member for many years and have found that they without fail seem to be ahead of the curve, many years ahead of the curve on things that are of public interest. So I want to address that post um, that I just put up and talk about it a little bit. I'm not here to scare anybody. I don't want to cause anyone to be in a state of fear. If you are naturally inclined towards fear, I would encourage you to move from fear to aware, um, which will empower you, uh, deeply empower you to do these things that you need to do in your life to mitigate what's coming. So. So I want to talk to you about that. Um, hopefully I don't get shut down because some of the things I'm going to talk about are quite controversial, but you need to know. So, <clears throat> um, Deagle posts uh, not just the current statistics, but they also post the projected statistics. And one of the most alarming things that, again, I was alerted to last night is the projected statistics for the populations of the world, of the different countries around the world, in 2025, which is only six years from now. So the statistics for the U.S. Uh, are quite alarming, and that's why I put the, the picture up on my Facebook. I wanted people to see it. I want you guys to understand the implications of the information that's available to you that is hiding in plain sight, you guys. So, the stats for the U.S. Uh, six years from now show that the projected population for our country, the United States of America, is 100 million people. Now, most of us know, if we live here, that there are over 300 million people currently living in the U.S. So, there are only 100 million people expected to be here six years from now. So, do the math on that. 200 million people are not expected to be here six years from now. Now you could think to yourself, well, how do you know that Deagle is a uh, reliable website? Deagle makes no uh, secret of the fact that they get their information from the intelligence agencies. I will not mention those names here because I'm really not interested in the Facebook bot uh, interfering with my live feed, but you know who the intelligence agencies are. So Deagle gets their stats from these sources. They're not the only place where you can find these alarming statistics and what is expected to show up uh, on the radar over the next few years. So the obvious question would be, if you're looking at that stat and it's currently we have 327 million people in the United States and only 100 million people are expected to be here six years from now, the obvious question would be what the fuck is going to wipe out 200 million people over the next six years? What could possibly do that, right? That's a really interesting question. What could kill that many people save a massive natural disaster? The answer to that question is 5G. 5G technology. And I know that there are a lot of you who are like, yeah, no, I don't think so. I've had a cell phone. I've gone from 2 to 3 to 4G. 5G is not going to be that big of a deal. I am here to tell you some stuff, okay? Why I wanted to do this live video and stick my ass out here again is because I need to tell you some stuff, okay? 5G technology, number one, is nothing like 4G. This is the reason why so many people are standing in front of their city councils, pleading with their city councils to do something about this. 5G is not at all even the same technology, okay? The gigahertz that 4G operates on right now is 2.4. Now, most people think that 5G equals probably it's going to be 5 gigahertz. It's not going to be 
5 gigahertz, you guys. 5G operates at 60 gigahertz. 60. We are going to jump from 2.4 to 60. If you know anything about the electromagnetic spectrum, you should know that 60 gigahertz is absolutely in the range of a microwave oven. And they also are, again, hiding in plain sight with this. I gotta keep my blood pressure down while I do this, y'all. I really wanna cuss a whole bunch, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna try not to. Um, the microwave technology that is going to be used in 5G is one millimeter wide. We have never had anything like that before, bombarding us especially, but even just pulsing out of our phones. One millimeter wide microwave beams. That's what's going to um, power out of your devices once 5G rolls, okay? So it's very important to understand that the reason why scientists and engineers and researchers and concerned citizens are trying to sound the alarm on this technology, and if you couple that with the statistics of the post that I just put on my page, showing you that the projected population stats for the US, and this is not the only country whose population is expected to drastically decline, if you couple this knowing of how detrimental and catastrophic 5G technology microwaves are to our biology, and you look at the stats of a population of 327 million that is expected to drop down to 100 million, you can answer your own question. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to figure that out. That is the answer to that question. How the hell do they know that in 2025 we're only going to have one third of the current people living in this country? That's how they know. So. I understand that this freaks people out. I realize I sound like a nutcase. I realize I sound like Chicken Little running around going, the sky is falling. This is not the first time that I have put posts on my page trying to warn people about being addicted to these types of technologies before they deliver 5G through that to where it is pulsing into your body, pulsing into the body of your kids, um, your animals, if you're in a home that has 5G running, Wi-Fi technology, all of that stuff. It's just, it's already out there. It's already known, right? The science is in. And that's what a lot of these scientists are trying to alert us to. I'm constantly putting videos on my page about this. So it's nothing new, and I'm not trying to scare you, but I really wanted to follow up that post where they do present the statistics of what they're expecting us to look like around the world six years from now in 2025, right? 100 million people living in the US, that means a shit ton of people die. What could possibly cause that? Well, if everyone has a handheld two-wave microwave that is beaming one millimeter wide, 60 gigahertz frequency at them, that's probably one of the things. Um, the internet of things that's being sold to us as a convenience where we're not gonna have to literally think about getting groceries because our fridge will be so smart that it will be able to tell that our orange juice container is low and will order a, re a new delivery of orange juice to our door and we won't have to think about it. That's sold to you like it's a convenience. That's sold to you like that's something that's gonna make your life easier. Not if that signal requires a 60 gigahertz frequency to operate, not if your prescription bottles, all of your products that you bring into the home are RFID chipped and they're all going to communicate with the 5G tower, which the other thing that I need to tell you guys is that they're not gonna operate 5G through current 4G technology cell towers. 5G is not able to um, travel that far. It, is very, it needs power boxes every several hundred feet. So if you don't have one directly outside your house, when the towers go up, they will be either out front of your house or out front of your neighbors or across the street. They're gonna be really close to where you live so that you can have the convenience of these this internet of things, right, that's sold to you like it's going to make your life so much easier. You're going to be able to download that Bollywood movie in 1.8 seconds. Do you need that? Do you need that? Or can you, can you wait 17 seconds for your movies to, to download, right, on the current technology that we have? This is the reason why so many people are in front of their city councils saying, we don't need this. We are not asking for this. So the interesting thing that has occurred is in the last few months, the federal government here in the United States passed legislation that 
bars municipalities and towns and cities from disallowing 5G to roll out. So cities and towns are now, they have their hands tied. Even if you go to your city representatives and you say, this technology is going to harm me and my children, my, animal, my animals, my family, my loved ones, they cannot do anything about it. Right? They were able to do a lot about it. That's why last year there were so many city hearings, um, and we see a lot of that. When we, um, are, if you're interested in the subject, you can find a lot of this stuff on YouTube. People were up in arms last year. Well, the federal government came in and said, "Too bad, so sad. You don't want it. It's happening anyway, and your city, your municipality is no longer able to stop this from happening. So it's going to roll out." Okay, so here's what we know. We know that there's a projected huge decrease in the population of countries all around the world that's going to happen in the next few years. We know that 5G technology is about to roll out. We know it's going to severely impact our biology. <clears throat> I'm going to show you this real quick. This is the electromagnetic spectrum. Right here is 3 gigahertz. That's what we currently operate on, okay? That's our phone at 3 gigahertz. This is a microwave. In between here and here, oh, sorry, here and here, you have a 3 to 300 gigahertz difference, right? So we are going to make the jump from here with cell phones at 2.4. We're going to jump to microwave technology one millimeter wide. Every study that's been done on one millimeter wide microwave uh, radiation shows that bifurcating cells, which is a fancy word for splitting your cells. Okay, so you might be scared by this information. Again, I don't live in fear, I live in aware. Okay, what that's meant for me is that I've learned how to mitigate the effects of these waves in my environment, in my body, in my home. And I share this stuff all the time. I am constantly on this beat telling people there are ways and solutions that you can protect yourself. You have to take action. You can't just sit around and hope that it doesn't happen. It's very clear that there's an agenda here. I'm not going to get into the theories as to why there is an agenda. I have a very clear theory, which I'm not interested in sharing with you because then you will just be like, she really is crazy. There's no need to talk about why it's happening we really just want to talk about it's happening what can you do okay i do a weekly live webinar on this now every week it is the universe's mandate that apparently i'm supposed to deliver this information to you um, this is the result of my own health crisis that i went through it's the result of my sister's cancer journey it was her cancer diagnosis that sent me down the rabbit hole, I started looking up the doctors. I found the doctors around the world who are healing people of cancer, not the ones who claim to be doing it, but the ones who have patients that are no longer patients, who are thriving, living healthy lives, and are cancer, cancer free. Every single one of those doctors said the same thing, and their top 10 must-dos is mitigate your EMF exposure Get the devices hardwired. Remove them from your immediate vicinity of your body. There are ways you can do it. It doesn't impact your life that much, okay, if you know how to do it. So that's what I teach people how to do now. And I get on here, I get on Zoom free every week now talking about these fundamental principles that you can employ in your life. You can implement them and you can learn how to lessen the effects of this stuff before the 60 gigahertz technology rolls out over top of you and before you become one of those statistics, the 200 million people who apparently aren't going to be here in 2025, which sucks because I love most of you and I would really love for all of us to survive this. But apparently two thirds of us aren't going to. So. Let's talk about some of those solutions, okay? Mitigating your EMF exposure. <clears throat> um, I started this journey with the EMFs and exploring what the hell these things are. What is this technology? What does it, why, why is it so prevalent? Why is it so dangerous? And I found some things that were super alarming. I bought an EMF meter and I started to measure the uh, EMFs in my home. I started to measure the EMFs like you guys have seen all those pictures I've posted next to my phone showing the radiation, next to my laptop and my computer. And I began to hardwire things in my house. I've also put up posts on that. You can find all of this stuff if you look in the photos on my Facebook page. 
But I learned how to uh, hardwire was one of the first things that I did, so that is one of the first things I recommend that you do. Um, there are a lot of other solutions. Here's the thing you're going to have to do, okay? 60 gigahertz beaming at you from every direction is going to mean that you will have to take massive action to recalibrate your energetic field every single day. This isn't something that you can do on a Sunday at church when you sit there and meditate or pray. You are going to have to implement these protocols every day in your life the same way you do when you brush your teeth, when you take a shower, when you do your hair, ladies, when you put your makeup on. It's just going to be another routine thing that you're going to implement into your life. One of those important things that you need to do to recalibrate your energetic field is going to be grounding, okay, earthing, right? So if you live close to nature, amazing, get outside, take your rubber shoes off, put your feet directly on the ground every day for as much time as you can. You can get grounding mats. I have my feet, my bare feet are on a grounding mat right now. I have a grounding mat on my bed. I sleep earthed every single night. So does my daughter. Um, the whole key to this is if you are going to, if your frequency and your electricity and the electrons in your cells are going to be bombarded with 60 gigahertz soon with 5G technology, you are seriously going to have to have implemented in your life multiple ways that you can recalibrate that energetic field and calm everything down as much as you can. It's very easy. If you put a mat on your bed, you don't have to do anything. You just go to sleep every night. So you're grounded at your desk. If you sit at a desk every day, get a grounding mat, get your bare feet on that. Um, you need to invest in a PEMF mat, some kind of technology that's PEMF. The difference, yes, it has the word EMF in it. PEMF, pulsed electromagnetic frequency. What comes out of the earth is slow, low, shallow waves that are extremely therapeutic to the biology. Hence why you go into nature and you relax, right? You go into nature and you feel better. There are whole therapies around forest bathing. It's not just because you're amongst trees. Um, thanks, Tanya. I will post um, links to everything in the comments of this um, video. Um, the reason why you feel the benefit when you're in nature isn't just because you're around trees and you're away from people, okay? It's because you are getting that slow rhythmic therapeutic wave that is natural to the biology of every mammal on the planet. We have 1300 um, uh, uh, sensors in the bottom of our feet. So does every mammal. So does your cat and your dog. There's a reason for that. Okay, it's so that you can soak up the negative um, ions from the earth's surface. That's how grounding works. So when you connect through the ground port, through a mat that you lie on, you keep your body on, you will be able to negate some of the madness that is going to start rolling out of your iPhone at you. I know this sounds mental. I know it sounds crazy. I don't really care how crazy I sound anymore because there's too many people that I see that are showing up with really radical new modern day conditions that they can totally alleviate if they do these things. So the other thing you want to do is get um, PEMF technology. So that would be in the form of like a biomat. Um, there are tons of different biomats on the market, but make sure that you get one that is PEMF. Um, so you're going to be able to lie down on that. You can give yourself a 20 minute session on that um, every night. Infrared, wonderful if it can come with infrared as well. Um, I'll post links to all of that stuff as well. So these are ways that, again, you can calm down the frequency because you're going to get bombarded and your cells are not going to know what the hell hit them when 5G rolls out. This is part of the reason why that post is there. Those statistics should alarm you. I'm not trying to scare you. You should already be kind of scared, really. Um, the information is out there. It's not just in this one post. It's in a ton of different places. And like I said in that post, if you know the way that these guys work, I don't know if I could call them guys, but if you know the way that they work, you know that it's very important to leave it in the public eye, right? Because that's, you're telling them if you don't do anything about this, you are giving them consent to radiate you. You don't need to do that, okay? You can back away from all of it. There are ways that you can, again, hardwire, ground yourself, get on a PEMF mat. If you decide that you're going to keep your smartphone, I really recommend that you do not keep your smartphone. I recommend that you switch to a dumb phone. Um, be like me, walk in the phone store and be like, hello, I'm here to get a dumb phone. It's fun. I mean, I'm, you might as well make it entertaining for yourself because you look like a lunatic. 
okay, I still want to be one of those 100 million people that is still living in 2025. I'd like for my daughter to also be in that number. So I really don't care how silly I look. Um, go in and ask for a dumb phone. All right, ask if you can switch over. You can still use your smartphone. You can not have it on data, not have it on Wi-Fi, and use the camera. You can still um, record things on it, audio record on it. The reason why you want to get off of smartphones is that in, in every case, every time I do this research into these EMF fields and the 5G potential that's about to roll out, every single person is warning against the smartphone. You hold it in your hand. Okay, It's directly accessible to your body. It doesn't have a level of distance. Once 5G starts to power through your iPhones, you're going to be in an interesting situation biologically. So if you can remove that now and you can train, retrain yourself to back away from that technology and to use it in a different way, use it hardwired if you have to use it. Um, I talk constantly about putting your phone on airplane mode, not having it um, beaming to the tower every like millisecond as you're out. Um, that's important too. So all of these things are ways that you can protect yourself. You also need to be taking uh, action when it comes to uh, your internal space. You need to be looking at oxidizers that can get the metals out of your body like MMS. You need to be looking at uh, colloidal silver. You need to be looking at a lot of the um, known ways that you can remove metals out of your body because you are going to be turned into an antenna. Um, I'm sorry to say but it's just the truth. Imagine the fact, uh, imagine the uh, proliferation of metals in your brain and one millimeter microwave technology beaming at you constantly. This is, 5G is well known as crowd control uh, technology. It is one of the ways that human beings are placated and made to be complacent. Um, crowd control. Um, this technology is real and it's in place. You can look up Project Bluebeam if you want to go down that rabbit hole. I don't want to get too much into that tonight, but I do want to just really sound the alarm in a way that you can maybe hear it better from me um, because you know me uh, as opposed to some nameless, faceless person who's on YouTube. So <clears throat> those are the things that I suggest that you do. There are a ton of uh, other solutions. Again, you can always join me in my free webinar. I do it almost every week now, and I'm making sure that people are anchored in the fundamentals of what they can do around their house and in their own life. The understanding comes first, and then the action comes after. So today I just wanted to get on here and talk to you, A, about that post that I just put up. I want to reiterate the reasons why and give you some kind of basis into where that information comes from and what it could possibly be that is expected to wipe out two-thirds of at least the states in the next few years. I recognize that this sounds um, alarming. Again, I'm not trying to f scare anybody. Um, it's never my intention. I really do believe knowledge is power. It has been powerful for me. I no longer have an autoimmune condition that I suffered from for years because instead of being afraid of that and instead of um, fearing that I was going to get cancer which is the inevitable result of an autoimmune condition I educated myself I got empowered right I got equipped and now I don't suffer from that anymore same thing is happening with my sister she is up leveling her life and has made changes in her life and her cancer is dissolving out of her body as I speak this. So you can live in fear around your diagnosis, you can live in fear around the prognosis, this projected statistic that is showing up all over the place. If you know about the Georgia Guidestones, you know that there is a uh, agenda to reduce the population of the planet to 500 million from 7 billion. Again, that's a pretty scary number. You can be afraid of that um, or you can take a deep and serious look at the information and empower yourself and equip yourself to survive it, okay? John and Bonnie Mitchell, who I listened to last night, who talked about what all of this stuff that's coming, who alerted me to Deagle.com, um, John's ex-military, and he had a very sobering warning at the end of that interview last night, and his warning was, uh, if you 
keep your smartphone, you're not going to make it. So I don't want to tell you that. Um, those aren't my words. Those are John Mitchell's words. Um, but I am taking heed um, because of the research that I've done and the amount of doctors who I know who have said you need to get this technology far away from you and far away from your children. Please do not knee-jerk into a space of oh my god, I can't, I can't, because you're addicted, right? Part of the entrainment of these devices and the media that pumps constantly at us is to entrain our brainwaves to become addicted to it. Know that you will go through withdrawal, okay, like any other addiction. But know, also know that you can lessen your exposure to it and make choices like I shared in this video to uh, mitigate the effects of it on your biological mechanism, right? Your body. I want to continue to live. I want to be here and I would rather be one of the people that is uh, in the 100 million number and not in the 220 million number that apparently are not going to make it. So John Mitchell's words were, you know, if you keep your, your smartphone, you're not going to make it. Um, I don't want to give up my smartphone, but I have to. So it's something I've known about. Uh, even though I roll around with it on airplane mode, I have it hardwired now. It is on Ethernet. I am talking to you on a wired connection. I am not on Wi-Fi. Um, it's possible to continue to use it if you would like to. But once 5G rolls and 60 gigahertz is pumping out of this little sucker, I don't want it anywhere near me. And I hope that you will at least take heed of this message and do the same thing. And again, I'm inviting you to join me in these free webinars that I do where I talk about this stuff. Um, I show you some cool little slides and hopefully try to entertain you for an hour to really anchor in you the fundamentals around how you can empower yourself uh, and take sovereignty, take your sovereignty back, right? This is what it's all about. The ones who are expected to survive, apparently, the ones who are expected to survive are the ones who deserve to survive. That is their mandate. The powers that want to be have decided that if you don't educate yourself, it's on you. It's not on them. Um, so this is part of educating you guys. You can take it or leave it, but I'm certainly not going to sit on this information anymore. It's important for me to at least have taken a stand and to know that I've thrown my hat in the ring. Um, I'm grateful that you've been here for this uh, tirade and thank you for listening and if you're just now joining um, go back and watch the the replay of this hopefully Facebook will allow it to post and hopefully they will uh, allow it to be shared um, I really encourage you to again just take your power back you don't have to let this shit roll out over you I mean a post that shows 200 million of us are not gonna be here in 2025 yeah no no okay so get empowered know that you can Know that there are options, you've got solutions, there's tons of solutions. You can talk to me about it, come to my webinar, find out some more that you can do at home. There's lots of stuff that you can do, but you can't do it if you just sit back and say, you know, I don't want to do it or I don't believe it's happening. Um, I would really rather that you don't get to the point where you get a, a diagnosis. All of these really interesting mental uh, issues that people are dealing with, anxieties, depression, especially in children, um, ADHD, autism, Asperger's, a lot of these mental neurological conditions are happening because there is an overabundance of metals in the body and you are pulsing uh, high electromagnetic frequencies at a rapid and erratic um, er erratic beat, right? So it's not natural. It's not the natural stuff that comes out of the earth, right? So. You need to get the metals out of your body, um, which is what I teach people how to do, and you need to make sure that you are grounding and recalibrating your energy field every single day, just like you brush your teeth. So again, um, watch back through the video if you want to learn more. Um, I will continue to be a sounding board for this as long as I am allowed to be, and I will leave the post if you want to register for the webinar tomorrow. You're more than welcome to join us. Um, I love you guys. I am uh, really... <laughs> really wanting humanity to get through this and really uh, advocating for your empowerment and your sovereignty um, because we will be in the number that they consider uh, deserve to live. So let's do that y'all. Let's uh, join up. Yeah, share the information. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for listening to me and I wish you the best. Reach out to me if you need to. All right, take care. Uh, see you soon. Bye.